This is a popular story. Peter, the rock, right? The one who, who convicted Ananias and Sapphira, right? He's the man. This guy's a snake. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. Look up here. Look up here. One day, Peter said to Jesus, I will never deny you. God, Jesus, I'm never going against you. You're my boy. Say it. Look up at Jesus. Boy. My boy, right? Have you ever had somebody say that to you? Like, these are my people. Like, I'll never betray you, right? The next night, Peter denied Jesus three times, right? You guys know that story? So everyone remembers that story. Do I need to go further into it? You know what I mean? Okay, good. But, did, did Peter die? No. Ooh, interesting, right? He, he lied. He denied God one of the worst things he could do. Why, why did he die? Christ and Jesus. He said sorry. Go ahead, man. Oh, you repented. You repented? What's that? What's that? It's a thing you do you when you go to God and you're like, oh, I did this and I'm sorry and I'm like, forgive me. Yeah. 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 All right, let's, see. let's get started. Okay. So now you know the stories, right? You guys know the Bible stories? You got knowledge of your brains? <laughs> Yeah, you got this, right? You guys don't, you guys, we're good now. Uh, so now when I refer to Ananias and Sapphira, you know that they lie. Okay, and when I say Achan, you know that he lies, stole. Lies, stole. And when I say Peter, you know that he lies. Freaking Achan, man. Hey, take my money. I know I'm a broke university. Okay. This, uh, I wrote this, I wrote this down a long time ago. This sermon. It has to do with being fake. What is what is fake? What does that mean to you? So Barbie dolls are fake, right? Yeah. What else is fake? Not being real. Not, not being real is fake. <laughs> <laughs> What's the dirt inside? What have you hidden in there? For some of you, it's gossip, gossiping about your friends. For some of you, it's lying to your parents, disobeying your parents. For some of you, it's the same thing as me. You know what it is. Everyone has that spot in their tent. 
and we're faith about it. We're saying we're well off. We got this. Nobody knows I do this. Right? Like Ananias and Sapphira. We, we're so great. Everyone's giving me attention. What's wrong with that? Right? We never hear these stories in church, though. Because we're all supposed to be perfect here. You can tell that's the biggest lie I've ever heard. And that lie comes straight from the devil's mouth. That is not in this book. This book does not say go to church and be perfect. It says you can't be perfect on your own. And because of that, Jesus came and died for you. So Ananias, it's, it's weird. It's weird to look sometimes like at God's ways. But when Ananias lied, he didn't get a second chance. He died. But Sapphira, she got a second chance. What do you think would happen if Sapphira repented? Sapphira would have said, yeah, you know what? I did. I did. I, I lied. I completely, I, I didn't, didn't get all my money. What do you think would have happened? Pardon me. Not so loud. She would have gotten punished, but she wouldn't have died like anyone else did. Yeah. But why didn't she? Because she repented. Pardon? Because she didn't. Why didn't she repent, though? Right? Because Mickey, do you know what Mickey said? Can you repeat it? Yeah. Repeat it? Yes. Okay, so Mickey said uh, because she didn't want anybody to know. Right? She didn't want anybody to know. She, felt, she would have gotten punished. If she would have repented, she would have gotten punished. And then, but she wouldn't have died, right? She wouldn't have gotten killed. So, if she, knowing that, we know that, right? We know these things, but why, why don't we do it? Why, give me a reason why we don't do it. Pride. Pride. Yeah. What else? Keep shouting out reasons, guys. Go ahead, shut up. Scared. Yeah. Care about people's opinions more than God's You care about people's opinions. Yeah, we do. Greed. Greed. Definitely. Keep going. Anger. Anger. Humiliated. Humiliated. Shame. Exposed. Everyone looking at you. Man, what a sinner. Wow, that guy is addicted to porn for six years. That guy led us in worship. That guy speaking in front of us right now. Wow, why is he so sinful? I'm human. I am messed up. I'm very messed up. I gossip him for time. So the devil starts to lie to you. So to say, if you confess, ain't nobody gonna be your friend. Nobody's gonna help. There's no getting out of this. Six years is way too long. You can't get it. But Jesus is on the side saying, just repent. Yes, you'll have consequences. Yes, there'll be sad times, but you can get out of it. Stop trying to save yourself. For a lot of my friends, it was a bad relationship. You got into a relationship with a guy or girl? May have lost their virginity? Whatever it is, but they're stuck in it. And they can't get out. Even the person, the person is so bad to them. The family just wants the best for them, and they can't get out of it for some reason because that thing has accepted them the whole time. And you know, it's treating them like crap. Why? Because it's in your tent. Have you guys ever been camping with this guy? Yeah. Have you ever been in a tent? Yep. Have you ever like tried cleaning out a tent? It is hard. It's hard. You guys like stand in your tent or like. Rappers from chocolate bars that we may have stolen or something. <laughs> but like, it's hard to get it out, right? And it's hard work. It's hard to go inside your heart and clean the sin out, right? You, nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to go inside themselves and be like, oh, there's that chocolate bar I stole. There's that video I watched. There's that person I hung out with. There's that drug I took. There's that thing I gossiped about that person. Because you see yourself. Right? You see what you've been living in. On a retreat, when you live in four days in town, maybe it's not so bad. Like, maybe this tent's a little hot. Maybe it's raining or whatever. And then you get out and you realize after the four days, this tent is disgusting. 
to. <laughs> like, who would sleep in this? And then you're like, that's why. <laughs> right? But then it's easier to go to other people's tent and be like, shh, ew, 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 ew. Right? It's, it's, you're like, it's so easy, but then you go home and say, I know there's sand all over it, but it's not that bad. And I, I know there's chocolate wrappers all over it, but it's not that bad. Okay, I know there's slay, but it's not that bad. Right? You, you cover, but that's what we do, we cover it up. We cover it up. We be fake to each other. Fake to the people that love us, man. But that's not what we're about. And that's why we're going to change that tonight. ASAP, right? We're going to change that ASAP. This summer, I mean, and this is very recent in my life, this whole cleaning up your tanks deal. This summer, I almost lost a friend because I couldn't control my jealousy. I straight up talked so much crap behind his back. Said he was a stupid person, that he didn't deserve this, and that I deserved, I deserved way better. And for went on for months. And you know what? I thought I was the only one that knew, like me and the people I were talking to. What I didn't know is that he knew the whole time. And this guy treated me with the greatest love ever. No, you don't know. Sorry, stop <laughs> He treated me with so much love and so much respect. And one day, one day, God threw someone and said, hey, you know he knows. I was like, no, he doesn't know. He doesn't treat me like that if he knows. Because logically, the world, this is what the world says. When you treat somebody like crap, they treat you like crap, right? When you treat somebody like crap, when I slap someone across the face, it's okay for them to go back and slap me across the face. Because that's how the world works. It's fair. Right? But he knew that. See, I kept hitting him. Maybe not physically. Mentally, though. And he knew every single thing I said about him. And every single time he met me, he gave me the biggest hug, said he loved me, helped me with my problems. That makes me feel like crap. When you find out that you said you have done so much wrong to somebody and they still treat you with love, ready? You do that to God every day. We do it to God every single day. We don't even care. We're going to change it ASAP, right? ASAP. You cut yourself because you're angry. You throw up because you want to be skinny. You have sex because your boyfriend or girlfriend really loves you. You have an abortion. You lie to your parents. You're addicted to drugs. You like to drink beer. Anything that will mess up your state of mind so you can de-stress. You go to parties and grind up on other people. You ready for the best part? Those are all stories I heard from people in the church. The perfect place? No. Let me get that out of your mind, bro. Church, you're not supposed to come here perfect. You, it's okay to come here and not be happy. It's really okay because you have leaders that love you and want to talk about life with you. They care for you. They want to do so much for you. But you got to take off that mask, man. you got to go check in your tent and be like, I've been fake, man. My tent is not clean. I just sprayed a bunch of ax in it. Right? Alright, let's keep going. So that was that was the sad part. You really know, get that? It's like that's the part that oh, I feel really bad about. That got me feel really bad. Good, I feel bad too. And that's why I like feeling bad. Because God is good, right? Say it, God is good. God is good. So let me tell you how good God is. When Peter denied Jesus. Did he die? No. Why? Say it. Because he repented. You know what you can do? <coughs> you can repent. You can, God, you can go to God any time of the day and say, God, I, 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 maybe, God, I, I don't even want to read your Bible. Honestly, I, like, I literally don't want to read the Word. I don't want to pray. I don't feel like it. Give me a desire to do that. Because my human body says no. This body that you have right now, 